This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. In this video, we'll be looking at adding an accordion to your Squarespace site. So here we have one built where section one, section two, section three, these are the titles. And as you click on them, you can then see the description below. All right, so let's get started on that. So here's our default site where there's no accordion. So the first step would be to add the HTML that will display this accordion. So let's get started with that first, going to the back end of the site. And next, you can hover over your page content section and go to edit. Hit the plus icon and you're going to look for the code block. And here we're going to type our accordion HTML code. So first, we're going to start with the button, or rather the title. So we're going to give it a class, and we're going to call it accordion. And our first button will be section one. And beneath that, we'll add a div element the class panel and this is the description section and between the div elements we're going to add a paragraph so we're going to add p learn ipsum just some default text and you can specify exactly the text that you want to show here and of course for your section one so as you can see once we've added that change those that text um, we can see our button here um, for the title and our lorem ipsum text. And I'm just going to copy and paste this to build the other portions of our accordion. So I just copied and pasted that. So I'm going to call this section two. I'm going to paste another line in, and this will be our section three. So here we have one, section two, section three. So I'm going to hit apply to save those changes to our code block and also save here on the page element. So this is it so far, but as you can see, it's not very nicely laid out as we have with our current site. So we're going to fix that by adding some CSS and also some JavaScript to implement the hide show action. So to do that, we'll go into the settings. Next, we'll scroll down to advanced. Next, click where it says code injection. So first, we're going to add our CSS code, and that goes into the header of the site. So first, we're going to start by typing our style tags. And between these tags, that's where all of our CSS code will go. So first we're going to spell the buttons that are used to open and close the accordion panel. So that will be like these, this section here, where it says section one and section two. So to do that, we're going to add dot accordion because we did call the button accordion. And we're going to add our opening and closing curly braces. And between those, we're going to add some background color. I'm going to add hashtag triple E, which is a gray color. We're also going to add some unique font color. So I'm going to make that font like a darker gray. This will, where there's that lighter background here, that's the triple E. And the font is um, what I'm about to type now, the hashtag 444. That's this. So that's our text color. We're going to also um, set cursor to pointer. That way, when you hover over the button, the cursor changes to a pointer, just like that. We're also going to add some padding of 18 pixels. We're going to make it full width. And we're also going to do test align left. 
but just in case there's some HTML on your page that's setting it to anything but left, it will always align to the left, just as it, it's done here, align to the left. We're also going to set the border to none because the default setting on the button is does have a border. And we're also going to do outline none and transition. We're going to add like four seconds. That's just when you hover over the icon, it does like a nice transition of the color, of the background color. So what we're going to add next, but before I do that, I'm just going to hit save so we can see those changes so far. So here we've applied the CSS, the padding, background color, you can still also see the color and the cursor is a pointer over the title section. Now we have to just modify the panel section um, so it looks a little nicer than this and it aligns also with the titles or the accordion. So to do that, we're going to add dot panel. And again, our opening and closing curly braces. And we're going to add padding 0, 18 pixels. Background color, we're going to set that to white just in case the background color of your site isn't white. We're going to also add display none. That way when you visit the site, it looks like this and you have to actually click on the accordion to see what's beneath it. And we're also going to do overflow hidden so that there's nothing kind of poking out. Good. So once that's done, we're also going to add like a hover effect. And this is going to add like a background color to the button if it's clicked. Either if it's clicked like how the section one is clicked or expanded, or if you hover over, it changes background color. So that's what we're going to add next. So we'll do dot active. And that active class will add it using JavaScript. And the active class will apply. You hover over the accordion. And we're also going to add accordion hover. And add our background color. Also, another gray color. I'm going to hit save on those changes. Great. So the panel section is hidden, but it has been added with the padding. And now when you hover over, it does have that nice background change effect. But of course, when you click on it, there's nothing happening because we haven't yet added the JavaScript to do that. So we're going to get started on that next. So let's scroll down here to the footer. And in the footer, that's where we're going to add our JavaScript code. So the first thing we're going to do is add our script tags, open and closing script tags. And between those, we're going to, first of all, define the accordion. We're going to give it a nickname ACC. And using JavaScript, we're going to just tie it to ACC using document.elements by class name, our open brackets, and between that we're going to add a cardian. And we're going to also add our variable i. And that is basically just a counter. And what we're going to do is to kind of assign some functions to that, to those accordion our panel elements. So we're going to first add a for loop to do that. So we're going to add for i equals to zero, i less than the accordion dot length. And this applies to all the accordions. So we have three accordions in our list. So for each of them, we're going to apply some code. Okay, so there is the structure of our for loop. So the first thing we're going to do is to add the click option to the accordion section. So to do that, we're going to type ACC. 
say dot add event listener and then between that we're going to type click comma space function and then our curly braces and followed by our closing bracket. So what this does is for each accordion, add the click option or add the click action. And also we're gonna add some additional code along with adding um, an action to the accordion. So the first thing we wanna do is that on click, on click of this, element we also want to be able to set the class to active and we're doing that because we did add some css code above here that says on active change the background color all right so we're going to add this dot class list dot toggle active so on click, it's going to check to see if it has the, the accordion has the active class. If it doesn't, it's going to take it off. It's going to add it. And if it does already have it, it's going to remove the active class. So here we have it's active, then it's no longer active. And that's exactly how it works in this JavaScript code. The next thing we're going to do is to toggle between showing the content here and not showing it. So to do that, we're going to add var panel, var panel equals this dot next element sibling. And we add if panel dot style dot display equals block and that means if the panel is visible then we're gonna hide it so to do that we'll add panel dot style dot display equals none and that will hide the panel if it's showing but if it's not currently visible we're gonna show it by adding else panel dot style dot display equals black. So this code here, this will check if the panel section is, is visible. If if it is, it will hide it. If not, it'll show it. So that's all the JavaScript code that we need. So we're just gonna save that and let's check what's happening on our site. So I'm just going to click here and it works perfectly. When you click on an item, it makes the accordion section. It adds the active class, which is that dark um, gray color. And it also shows the content here. And when you click on it again, it hides that content. All right. So the last thing would be to add like a plus icon here like we've done over here. And that kind of shows or indicates that the accordion can be expandable. So to do that, we'll need to add some more CSS. So I'll scroll up to the header section. And right here in between our spell tags, we'll add that code to, for the plus icons. So we're gonna do accordion. We're adding it on the accordion or the gray block here. Dot accordion colon after. We're going to add content colon and then slash zero two seven nine five. And that's the Unicode character code for the plus sign. We're going to make the font size of it. 13 pixels. We're going to also add some darker gray. 
specific color we're going to add float right so it shows on the right of your accordion here or your title here next we're going to add margin left five pixels so it aligns nicely and we're also going to add well what we're going to do also is to change from like a plus icon to a minus sign like here from a plus to a minus when the accordion is active when it has that active class on it so i'm just going to copy this and right here we're going to add dot active so on accordion dot active state on the after we're going to change that content code from a plus a minus by typing slash zero two seven nine six we're going to save those changes and let's make this larger again so there we have our plus icon and on the active state it changes to a minus all right so that's basically how it's done and if you want you can add as many sections and with content as you like just by editing your page content code. Just going to the edit section again, click edit here, and you can just copy from button right down to div and copy and paste as many as you want to add as many accordion or title panel elements as you need. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now askquesty.com.